Heavenly Father, I thank you, Father God, for waking me up this morning. Father, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your kindness. I thank you for your mercy, Lord. I thank you for your grace, Father. I thank you for who you are. You are Abba. You are my father. I am your daughter. We are your children. And so, Father, right now, I come boldly to your throne of grace and mercy to talk to you, Father God. Please forgive me of all my sins, Abba. Cleanse me, wash me with the redeeming, atoning blood of your son, Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Thank you for washing me clean, Father God. Thank you for washing my family. Thank you for forgiving us of our sins, oh God. We repent, we turn to you. We run from the burning house of sin back to you. We run into your presence, Father God. You lead us to the path of life. In your presence, there's fullness of joy. And at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. And so, Father God, we humble ourselves. We put on the whole armor and we come to you in the name of Jesus. Father, we come to you to receive your breath, to receive fresh air, to receive your Ruah in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And so, Father God, I thank you that your eyes are upon us and your ears are attentive to our cries for help. And so, Father, right now I come praying, Father, Luke 13, about the woman who was paralyzed, who was crippled, who was stuck. For 18 years, she was bound. And so, Father, I lift up my children to you. I lift up my husband. I lift up our church to you. I lift up the body of Christ. I lift up myself to you. And Lord, I thank you that you are delivering us right now, Father, from every situation that has crippled us. Anything that has us bent over, Father God, stuck like Lot's wife unable to move paralyzed by an evil spirit i take authority right now using the keys of the kingdom i bind the strong man of infirmity sickness and disease and all other wickedness and i cast them into the brimstone abyss i use the fiery hammer of your word and i pulverize every evil stronghold and every strong man father god in the name of jesus the bible said that this woman was in the synagogue and some of us are in the church and we are bound but lord i thank you that christ came to set the captives free and i pray today father for my daughters i pray this for my son my grandsons i pray this for my husband myself father god i pray this over the church that we are bound no more we know the truth we implement and apply the truth of your word and we are bound no more father i thank you that your eyes are upon us for those of us who've been stuck don't know what to do in the marriage don't know what to do with ourselves don't, don't know what to do with the health issue don't know what to do with our children don't know what's going on with our finances but father i thank you that we come boldly to your throne of grace and mercy to receive help right now in the name of jesus father i thank you that this woman she was a little different than the woman who used to have an issue of blood father god jesus went to her and lord i thank you that you're coming to us because we've been trying to reach you oh god but we've been stuck stuck in deception stuck in the quicksand of life oh god stuck in prisons and chains and bondages and stuck in sin but though the bible said that this woman had a spirit of, inf of infirmity for 18 years and she was bent over and could no way raise herself up she could not raise herself up oh god but we cannot raise ourselves up lord we need you to lift us up father god so that we will not dash our foot against a stone and so she was bent over and could in no way raise up herself. Father God, I thank you that we don't have to raise up ourselves. Your mighty hand, Father God, is reaching down to, to where we're at, Father, in our situations, oh God. And you're picking us up because we've been waiting on you. And they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings as eagles. They shall be raised up, Father. You're raising us up, oh God, as your victory flag in the earth, oh God, in the name of Jesus. You're raising up. You are the lifter up of our heads. You are turning our situations around. We are no longer cast about the valley of dry bones, Father. We're standing up. Father God, Talitha Kum, you have raised us up to stand at our feet as a vast army for the Lord, your prayer warriors, your apostles, your prophets, your pastors, your evangelists, your teachers, oh God. We stand upon the solid rock, Father God. Father, using the plumb line of your word, we're no longer crooked. We're no longer bent over, Father God. We are straightened out. You have made the crooked places straight and you have destroyed every bar, oh God, every iron, every trap, every prison, Father, in the name of Jesus, every curse is destroyed by the blood blood by the anointing the bible said but when jesus saw her luke 13 12 
when Jesus saw her, he called her to him. Lord, I thank you that you're calling our names and we come to you. You're calling the names of our daughters, our sons, our spouses, and we're coming to you. You're calling the names of our loved ones we're praying for, Lord, and we're coming to you. Father, you said your sheep, they know your voice. The sheep, they know your voice. Father, and they will not go with a stranger. We hear your voice, oh God, because you've opened up our spiritual ears, Ephetha, to our ears and our eyes and our hearts, oh God, and we hear you. And we're coming to you as you're coming to us. We draw nigh to God and you draw nigh to us in the name of Jesus. Jesus saw her. Father, you are El Roi. You are the God who see us and you provide a ram in the bush. You're Yahweh Jireh, Lord. Your eyes are upon us and your ears are attentive to our cry for help. And so, Lord, Jesus called her and you're calling us. And it says he called her to himself and he said to her, woman, you are loose from your infirmity. He called her forward. And Lord, you're calling us forward. And you're dealing with the root of our situation, which is spiritual. And so, Lord, I thank you that every, every evil strong man, is, they're bound and cast out into the abyss. Every perversion, every death and destruction, every antichrist. Every dumb and deafness, every, 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 every perversion, Father God. Yes, the perversion, the lust that has twisted us up, twisted our minds, Father God, perverted us. But I thank you that we have the mind of Christ and we've been straightened out, Father God. We're set free from every depression, every oppression, every bondage every addiction, every abuse. Lord, I thank you that we're filled up with your Holy Spirit, Father, with the plumb line, oh God, and we're straightened out in the name of Jesus. Women, men, listen, children, families, you are loose from your infirmity. And he laid his hands on her and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. I decree and declare that our children, our marriages, our spouses and us, we're, we're immediately straightened out and we're glorifying the Lord. We get up. We get up from that place of being bent over. Bent over by life, by shame, by guilt, by oppression. We're no longer bent over. We rise up, Father God, with your backbone, your spine, oh God, and we live right. We are built on the chief cornerstone, the solid rocket. His name is Jesus. We are standing up, up right before you, Lord. Father, I thank you that we're on the mountain of the Lord, standing in victory, standing in deliverance, standing in holiness in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that the situation that has been crippling our families, Father, we're crippled no more in the name of Jesus. And so we know what a plumb line is. And the plumb line is a tool that is used by the carpenters and such to build walls that are straight up and down at a perfect right angle to the earth so that to align with the gravitational pull. Father, I thank you that we are straight, that the wall of salvation, Father, is in our lives and we turn our faces to the wall of salvation like Hezekiah and we receive healing for the boils of our lives, oh God. We receive healing and Father God, we, you're restoring the years, giving us more time to live for you, oh God. You're restoring the years the palmer worms ate up in our lives. In the name of Jesus, you are our plumb line. We line up with the word of God. Father God, you don't change for us. We change to obey your word, Father God. And so we look to the plumb line of your Holy Spirit, the plumb line of your word, Father. And we are transformed right now, immediately. We are loose from every bondage, every prison. In the name of Jesus, we are delivered, filled up with the Holy Spirit, filled up with joy, filled up with love, filled up with kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, patience, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We're filled up with you, Abba. You are our plumb line. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, you lead us into all truth and you sanctify us by the truth. We have the belt of truth buckled around our DNA so that we can know to walk straight, how to walk straight. What, to, what situation to run away from like Joseph and when to run to you, Father God. We're not like Lot's wife looking back in the past. No, we look to the plumb line of the future, oh God. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. And so we let go of the past, the trauma, 
the poverty, debt, and lack. We let that go, the infirmity, sickness, disease, and we launch forward into the deep, stepping out of the boat of, of being bound and the boat of depression, the boat of, of adultery, the, 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 the boat of chaos. We leave the boat and we step out on the water of your word, Father God, and we are making progress and building up your kingdom, Father God. Using the plumb line of your word, every word is being fulfilled in our lives, oh God, because you hasten your word to perform it. We are loose in our minds, loose in our spirits. Our children are set free from demonic relationships, every every sin, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that you promise us, oh God, with the plumb line of your word that our children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be their peace. So sanctify our children, oh God, in the truth. Your word is true. The word is Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you. Sanctify our spouses. By the truth your word is truth if i've got sanctify us by the truth your word is truth show us the way to go make the crooked places straight show us the path of life oh god in your presence there's fullness of joy and at your right hand abba there are pleasures forevermore and so i release john 17 17 we are sanctified by your truth your word is our truth oh god in the name of jesus and we have the belt of truth and we put the sort of the spirit father god and and, 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 and inside of the belt oh god and the belt is holding up all the other parts of the armor we are armored up and we are standing on our feet straight and out as a vast army for the Lord fighting the good fight of faith in the name of Jesus Lord I thank you I thank you and praise your name father God that you are God you are God father you are God you're not a man that you should lie father or the son of man that you should change your mind we must change to, to obey your word and you're not going to change for us you are God, you're sovereign. And so we repent right now and we turn from our wicked ways, oh God, and we follow you. You are the shepherd. We are the sheep of your pasture. Lord, thank you for delivering us from Lodabar, that place that have us bent over in oppression and racism and, 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 and fornication and adultery, Father God. We run from Lodabar. We are delivered. Your angels are in camp around us, oh God, to deliver us from Lodabar in the name of Jesus. We go to the palace, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. I thank you, O oh God, for Zechariah 4.10. For whoever has despised the, the day of small things shall rejoice. Father, we don't despise the small things because it's a mustard seed faith, O oh God, that's going to move the mountain. We don't despise humble beginning. We humble ourselves, O oh God, and we are faithful even over the little bit, the little progress that we've made, O oh God, we cover with the blood of Jesus. We see the plumb line in the, in the hand of Zerubbabel, and we're building up the temple. We are the temple of the living God. We see things changing around. We see your, your will being established. Father God, you said to believe and trust in you and we shall be established. Believe your prophets and we shall be prosperous. Oh God, we believe you, oh God. We have the faith the size of a mustard seed, oh God. And we see the plumb line, oh God, in your hand, oh God, in your mighty hand. And you are rebuilding our marriages, rebuilding our spouses, rebuilding our children, rebuilding our finances, rebuilding our ministries, rebuilding our, our businesses, rebuilding our job situations, Father God. You're rebuilding our finances, rebuilding our marriages, Marriages, are rebuilding our children, rebuilding our bodies, our souls, our spirits. Father, I thank you for restoring us and making us better than before. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We, we, we see the building. We see the chief cornerstone. We see the foundation being Jesus. And we are built up and we will not be blown away. We're not building on sand. We built on the solid rock, oh God, and we have your, your plumb line to, to let us know if we're, we're doing it correctly, Father God. We have discernment of spirits. We have wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, oh God. I thank you for Zechariah 4 and verse 10 in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that the stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Father, we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior. We build upon the chief cornerstone. Mark 12 and 10 is our birthright in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, but by people, by the people out there. The builders, which has become the, the cornerstone, Father God, they reject Jesus, but we accept him. The word says this Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. But I thank you that you take the rejects and, and you adopt us into your family and we're joint heirs with Jesus, no longer rejected, but we're loved. Our, our daughters who have been rejected, oh God, I thank you for adopting them, oh God, and they're being taught by you and great is their peace. Our, our sons who have been rejected, you have adopted them into your family, oh God. Lord, I thank you that they are your sons and daughters, royal priests of the holy nation. You've given them a beautiful crown for their ashes of rejection, Father God. I thank you that the rejection would not bound them anymore. They're not bound by rejection, oh God. They're filled with your love. 
They're filled with your love and filled with your truth, oh God. In the name of Jesus, they're covered in the blood. They have on the whole armor and they walk the straight and narrow with the Holy Spirit. Acts 4, 11. I thank you, oh God, that we are rejected no more. Our families are rejected no more. Husbands and wives are no longer rejecting you or rejecting each other. The children are no longer rejecting you. They're no longer rejecting their parents. We're, not, we're no longer rejecting your will, Father. We accept you and we say yes to your will, yes to your ways. We say amen. We say nima. We say amen in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 28 and verse 17. Isaiah 28 and verse 17, the victory number 17. And I will make justice the line. Justice is our, pl our plumb line. Victory is our plumb line. Healing and restoration, that's the, they are our plumb line. Humility, that's our plumb line. Wealth and health, they are our plumb line. In the name of Jesus and righteousness, the plumb line. Righteousness is our plumb line. Lord, I thank you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I will make justice the line, the measuring line. Lord, thank you for your justice. You love justice and you hate wrongdoing. We're in the supreme courts of heaven, Father God, and we receive justice for when the enemy tries to, to, to pulverize us. Oh God, we're no longer pulverized. We pulverize every Jericho wall. But Father God, we build on the wall of salvation. Oh God, we build our lives on the chief cornerstone. Oh God, and we have righteousness in our homes. Father God, we have justice in our homes. We see the immediate straightening up of our situations. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we're no longer crushed. Father God, we are thriving thriving in joy, thriving in peace, thriving in shalom, peace, thriving in wholeness and wellness in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise your holy name. Father God, you promise in Isaiah 45 and verse 2, I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight and I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut and sunder the bars of iron anything that was trapping us any wrong way of thinking any stronghold every jericho wall father god any any addiction father god any any any, any waywardness father god that's been a stronghold like a brass and iron father god i thank you that your word has destroyed melt oh god you melt in the hard situation the difficult situation you're straightening us out and you're destroying and melting those hard places oh god where it looked like we were not making progress we were not advancing we advance now you're calling us forward and you say woman man thou art loose children thou art loose from thine infirmity your those evil spirits abound and cast out and now we are filled up with the holy spirit in the name of jesus leviathan is destroyed we crush the seven heads of leviathan every serpent we burn up the evil wicked spirit father god in the waters marine spirits we bind and cast them out into the abyss no weapon formed against us will prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, we have a right to condemn. We are plugged into your power. Your dunamis power is on the inside of us, inside of our daughters, our sons, our spouses. Oh God, your dunamis power is inside my husband and my children, my bloodline. Father, we're plugged into you. Father, you are our source of power. You are our source and our resource and we lack nothing. You have breathed the breath of life into our nostrils, oh God, and we live life and life more abundantly. Lord, I thank you that your plumb line keeps us alive. Live. In the name of Jesus, blessed doors are opening up for us from the north, south, east, and west. We set ourselves free, Father God, and we enter in the blessed doors to repossess our, our, our possession, to resist our possession. Because oh, Obadiah 117 says, Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. And we have repossessed our possession. 17 is the victory number. Complete deliverance, Father God, is our portion according to your word, Father God. That's being fulfilled. I release Zechariah 117. Overflowing prosperity is upon our marriages, upon our our, our, our families, oh God, upon our, our, our health and our strength, Father, our prayer lives, our, our fast and Bible study time, oh God, overflowing prosperity in our finances right now in the name of Jesus, we're straight and out. Glory to God in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise your holy name that you said, Father God, those who trust in your solid rock will not be put to shame. The shame is gone. The guilt is gone. We're dressed in the purple robe of, of royalty. We have the crown, Father, a beautiful crown on our heads. Our minds are renewed, oh God. We have on the helmet of salvation. We know who we are. We walk, oh God, with our heads up and we walk in victory down the path of righteousness for your name's sake, oh God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to the Most High God. Glory be to the Most High God. Lord, I thank you that we're straightened out. The, 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 the diseases that were in the body, straightened out bound and cast out and i was straightened out we're straight our eyes are straightened out ears straightened out we're not missing 
misinterpreting anything. We're not mishearing things or misseeing things. Oh God, we see clearly. We have your clarity. As the diamond, Father God, you've cut off the flesh off of us, oh God. You've cut us, oh God, from the best cloth, oh God, from, from, from the royal garments of heaven, the royal fabric, Father God. Lord, I thank you. We have your clarity, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We have your weight, the weight of your glory, the carrot. Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that we have the four C's. The four C's, Father God. We have your color, your clarity, Father God. We have the rainbow promise. You've painted us with the rainbow, Father God. A rainbow covenant, oh God. Covenant means to cut. Father, we cut our flesh off, oh God. We walk in the spirit. We cut off anything that's not of you. Every evil soul, tie. We cut them off. Anything that our children are attached to, anyone that they're attached to that's not of you, cut them off. Cut it off right now at the root. Burn it up, oh God, Father God, because the truth is in the root. And we will not be attached to wickedness, Father God. Cut off the generational curses, the familiar spirits, Father Father God, cut off any, any disease, cut off, oh God, any plague. You said no evil will come near our dwelling. Oh God, I release Psalm 91 over my family right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise your holy name. Glory to God. We win. We win. We win. We win in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We have value. We have worth. We have your, Father God, we have your value. We have your worth, oh God. We walk in love. We love you, Father, with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And we love our neighbors as we love ourselves, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, love, love, love. The family's walking to love, walking in love. Our family's walking in love in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that perfect love casts out fear. You are love. And love is holding us together, holding the family together. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for Amos 7, 7 to 8. This is what the Lord showed me. Behold, the Lord was standing beside a wall built with a plumb line, with a plumb line in his hand. And the Lord said to me, Amos, what do you see? And I said, a plumb line. Then the Lord said, behold, I'm setting a plumb line in the midst of my people Israel, and I will never again pass by them. And so, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, oh God, that your plumb line is in our families. In the name of Jesus, we have repented. We have repented. And so, Lord, I thank you that you're turning toward us. Your face is shining upon us because we have humbled ourselves. Turn from our wicked ways and you're healing our land, Father God. Your plumb line is with us. We measure up, Father God, because we obey you. Obedience is in our hearts. Father God, I thank you that we lack nothing because we're overflowing with your spirit. Out of our bellies are flowing rivers of living waters in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for your word. I thank you, oh God, for Zechariah 1. I thank you for overflowing prosperity, oh God. Father God, you said return to me and I will return to you, says the Lord of heaven's armies. Lord, I thank you that heaven's armies are with us and camp around us. And we return to you. The families return home to you like the prodigal son. And we obey you, Father God. In the name of you, you're giving us rebirth. Rebirth, oh God. Zechariah 1 and verse 7 talks about February 15th. My birthday is February 15th. Lord, I speak new birth over us. New birth over us. On the 15th day was when the Israelites were set free from Egypt. You're setting the captives free right now. You gave Ezekiah 15 more years to live, oh God. Rebirth, new life for everybody who's listening to me. Our families receive new life. In the name of Jesus. Grace upon grace upon grace. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, oh God. I thank you, oh God, for shalom, peace. You're showing mercy to us. According to Zechariah 1. And the Lord spoke kind and comforting words to the angel who talked with me. Father God, you're speaking kind words to our angels to come to deliver to us. Father God, I thank you that our angels are, are, are here to help us, oh God, to bless us, to meet every need. Oh God, I thank you that you're sending our angels, oh God. And your angels encamp all around, around us, legions upon legions of your angels, ministering angels, warrior angels, helping our children, helping our spouses, helping the body of Christ. We're, we're strengthened right now. And the angel said to me, verse 14, shout this message for all to hear. This is what the Lord of heaven's army says. My, my love for Jerusalem and Mount Zion is passionate and strong. Lord, I thank you that your love for us is passionate and strong. 
You love us and we're never rejected. We're never forsaken. Father, I thank you that you're angry with the other nations that are now enjoying peace and security after they have damaged your people. Anything or anyone, Father God, that causes us harm. Father God, you said you're going to inflict harm on them. Father, I thank you that you're going to fight the battles for us. That you're going to take care of our enemies. You, you will deal with them. You will deal with them. You said I was only a little angry with my people, but the nations inflicted harm on them far beyond my intentions. The enemy has overstepped his boundaries. The thief has been caught. He must give us back seven times what he has stolen from us. He went too far in attacking our families, oh God. And now he must pay us back. We ask for your justice to rain down, oh God. Release the reign of justice. Lord, I thank you. Father God, and then you said in verse 16 that you have returned to show mercy to us and that you're going to rebuild the temple, Father. We are the temple of the living God, the temple of the Holy Spirit. And you're releasing, Father God, the plumb line so that there could be reconstruction. I speak reconstruction over our families. Restoration, rehabilitation, rebuild us, our inside, oh God. Rebuild us on the inside out and make us better than before, oh God. In the name of Jesus. And then you said again, um, overflow prosperity will be in Israel, in the towns of Israel. I decree and declare that we overflow with prosperity, oh God. Your will is overflown with us. Healing, holiness is overflown with us. Humility, obedience, fairness, justice, respect, honor, glory is overflowing in us. And you said, and the Lord will again comfort Zion. And choose Jerusalem as his own, Father. I thank you for divine comfort for those who have been grieving. Those who were afflicted, Father God. You straighten them out right now, oh God, with your comfort. Comfort, comfort my people, say it the Lord. Thank you for divine comfort in the marriages. Divine comfort in our husbands, in the wives, in our children. Divine comfort to us. Divine comfort to us. You're giving us comfort, oh God, in those rocky places, oh God. Because we have fasted and prayed, oh God. I thank you for comfort. We're celebrating now because we've broken through. We birthed through, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for Zechariah 1. Lord, thank you, Father God, for Zechariah 2. Thank you for protecting us, oh God. You said, I myself, verse 5, Zechariah 2, 5. Then I myself will be a protective wall of fire around Jerusalem, says the Lord. I will be the glory inside the city. Lord, I thank you for your wall of, wall of fire protecting our families, according to Psalm 91. In the name of Jesus, the exile are being brought back home. No longer in Babylon. No longer scattered, Father God. You promised in Jeremiah 29, 10 to 14. After the 70 years of bondage and captivity is over, you will bring us back, Father God. I thank you that 70 speaks of time of rest, complete rest. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you that we're home again. In our own homes, paid in full, debt cancellation, our own land. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, O God. You said anyone who harms you, harms my most precious possession, there will be no more harming. No weapon formed against us will prosper. Father God, you said you will raise your fist to crush our enemies. Lord, I thank you for crushing our enemies. Protecting us, O God. Father, you promised to live among us. And that we will know that the Lord of Heaven's armies is with us. And Lord, I thank you that we are your special possession. You've called, called us up out of darkness into your marvelous light. And we're in Jerusalem, the city of peace. And so we're quiet before you. We're still and we know that you are Lord. We stand still and see your deliverance. Be silent before the Lord, all humanity. For he is springing into action from his holy dwelling. Father God, you're springing into action and straighten out our situation because you can handle it. There's nothing too hard for you. There's nothing impossible with you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for cleansing our families. According to Zechariah 3, when the angel tried to, tried to accuse Joshua, the high priest, Father God, you checked him, the accuser of the brethren, and we silence every accuser. We destroy the evil words. Every Jezebel, Ea, Bathalia, every word curse we destroy right now. Father God, the blood of Jesus has made us right. And so you said in verse 2, Zechariah 3, I, the Lord, reject your accusation, Satan. Yes, the Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebukes you. Father God, because you said we are like a burning stick that's been snatched from the wicked fire. And now we're purified by you, the all-consuming.
are blessed father god no more accusation no more accusation the accuser satan was standing there at the angels right here and making accusations against jeshua against joshua and the lord said to satan i the lord reject your accusation satan yes the lord who has chosen jerusalem rebukes you this man is like a burning stick that has been snatched from the fire father god you have snatched us up from the fire oh god of, of wickedness and now we have the all-consuming fire and your word is fire in our bones and your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path oh god i thank you that we've been delivered our children delivered from demonic fire our, our spouses our marriages the body of christ we have been delivered and we are purified with your fire like the three hebrew boys are in the fire with us oh god and we come out unbound on harm and not smelling like smoke oh god we smell like love in the name of jesus and you have taken away our filthy clothes zachariah 3 you've washed away our filthiness oh god and you've clothed us oh god with the robe of salvation the garment of praise take off the filthy clothes we take off the grave clothes no longer in the grave to lead the coom we live life and life more abundantly our sins have been washed away we have fine new clothes to show our new status we have new life in you as your royal children and Father, you've placed a clean turban on our heads because we are your priesthood, your royal priesthood. We have the crown on. We're dressed in new clothes, oh God. And our angels are with us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we follow your ways and carefully serve you, oh God. And you've given us authority, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we walk in power, authority, and dominion. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, oh God, that your seven eyes are upon us, oh God. We're, in, we're inscribed in the palm of your hand. We belong to you. Our sins have been re removed in a single day. Zechariah 3. Father, and you said in your word, in verse 9, and I will remove the sins of this land in a single day because we have repented. You're doing a quick work, Father, today. In a single day, immediately we are straightened up. Immediately we are straightened up. In the name of Jesus. And so, Lord, you said, and on that day, verse 10, says the Lord of heaven's armies, each of you will invite your neighbor to sit with you peacefully under your own grapevine and fig tree. You're giving us our own, own wealth, own houses, own finances, own resources. You're giving us peace, oh God, with our neighbors. Our enemies are at peace with us, oh God. We have our own land with fruitful trees, grapevine, and the fig, Father God, prosperity. We prosper in you, we flourish, we bear righteous fruit for you, oh God in the name of jesus in the name of jesus and we have your lampstand oh god i thank you oh god i thank you that we have the light and we have the fruit and we have the we have the bell we have the pomegranate the bell father we're fruitful and we rejoice is jubilee is jubilee is jubilee in the name of jesus we, we we rebuild father god your will in our families lord i thank you the temple we are the temple and we live holy and we, we, do, we do not despise small beginnings. We don't despise small beginnings. It's not by our power. It's not by our might. It's by your spirit, Father God. You're excited for us to work for you. You, you rejoice, Father, to see the work begin, even if it's a small beginning. You, Father God, you're excited to see the plumb line in our hands. And Lord, I thank you for the seven lamps, the seven eyes of the Lord that's searching all around the world to, to give support to those who love you, Father God. You've located us now and our families and you're supplying every need and i cover this prayer with the blood i thank you oh god that we are your fresh oil in the earth we have the oil of gladness the oil of the anointing fresh oil fresh rain fresh water we are re replenished we are re rejuvenated resuscitated to lead the coom on this 27th day of our fasting father god i thank you and i praise your holy name Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise your holy name. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise your holy name. Glory be to the most high God. I thank you, O oh God, that you answer by fire. You've already answered this prayer by fire. We see the oil pouring down upon our souls, our spirits, our bodies, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil. We have the anointing. We pray with the anointing. We live, preach, teach, serve under the anointing of the holy spirit i thank you oh god for the ruah of the holy spirit fresh wind fresh air fresh love fresh strength fresh obedience fresh minds fresh fresh hearts in the name of jesus i pray amen amen amen